Remember the last time to get your points in? I don't know. Not now. The last chance to get your points in before we start adding everybody's points up to go shopping. And we're going to do that next month, October 30th. October 30th. That's when we're going to open up the cabinet. Whose birthday? October 30th? Is that your birthday? Well, then it's going to be a happy birthday to you. But while we're talking about birthdays, let's talk about birthdays a second. Nathaniel, how old are you now? Six. Nathaniel had a birthday this past week. Noel, how old are you now? Nine. Because Noel has a birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Noel. Happy birthday to you. And she's going, please, Dave, stop. Please, Dave, stop. Oh, I'll pull out all the stops. I'll put on the wig. No, but I'll find one. There you go. There you go. Anyway, back to the battle belongs to the Lord. Because sometimes we get into things that we can't handle. But remember that the battle is not yours. You're not fighting in your own strength. You're fighting in God's strength. Is God's strength more or less than yours? More. Yes. But nothing that God can't do. Our lesson today, though, is going to be something that's going to be a little... A little more on the distressing side. What on earth do you mean, Dave? Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Sometimes bad things happen for a good reason. Sometimes bad things happen to one person so good can happen to others. And that's what happened with Jesus. Who was Jesus? Who was Jesus? The Son of God. Absolutely. Jesus was the Son of God. And we had a problem, and it all started with Adam and Eve. Who can tell me what that problem was that all started with Adam and Eve? Sin. Okay, they, their sin was disobeying God, right? Look, now some people will tell you that the problem was that Adam and, in, Adam, and in, Adam and Eve sinned by eating an apple. Okay? Number one, we don't know that it was an apple. Okay? So first of all, you can enjoy your apples. Who likes apples? Who likes apple sauce? Don't yuck somebody's yum. Who likes apple strudel? What's that? It's a pastry with apple in it. Who likes apple pie? Apple pie. Apple pie. Yeah, there's an apple pie fan right there. That's not. So, Adam and Eve. brought sin into the world. The sin was not eating an apple. So if you like to eat apples, it's okay. You're not sinning against God. That wasn't the sin. The sin was, and this is a sin that I will bet that Xander, Taylor, Jennifer, Jaden, Nia, Ray, Anaya, Bella, Aria, Tavion, Matthias, Josiah, Levi, Noah, Noel, Eliana, Kaylee, Nathaniel, William, Eric, Katie, uh, Jaden, Jason, Grace, Aaliyah, and Favor. What about Dave? Are all guilty of 
You'll see in a minute why not me. And faith and I have been guilty of in the past. And that is disobeying. Well, with disobeying parents is where I was going, but disobeying, period. Their sin was disobeying. I disobey people so much. Now, first of all, the reason why I wasn't going with disobeying parents was because I don't have any parents. My parents, my parents are in heaven, so. That's How did you go to heaven? Huh? How did you go to heaven? They died. Both, both my parents are dead. They, yes, they were old. Sorry. They got old. All right, so everybody, okay, who's going to be honest with me? Who's ever disobeyed? Put your hand up. All y'all better put your hands up. I think whoever wants to put their hands up can put their hands up. Those who have their hands up, thank you for being honest. Those who don't have your hands up, mm-hmm. Now, has anybody ever done a job to earn money? No, I didn't yesterday. I know you have. I did it yesterday. Mr. Entrepreneur over here. I did it yesterday. If my mom paid me, I would be doing magic. Yeah. Right, you ever do a job for money? Somebody? Okay, first of all, I don't, I don't know. Now, look, look, look. I came from a different time. I came from a different time. When I was little, girls didn't mow the lawn. It was the boys' job. Okay. It was the boys' job. But a lot of boys would go out and make a lot of money mowing lawns. <laughs> and in the winter, they would make a lot of money by going out and shoveling driveways, shoveling yeah. snow out of the driveways. The boys love you can, you can make a lot of money. Now, when I work for money, and I work for money today, I have a job. A tax collector. I'm not a tax collector. <laughs> I'm not a tax collector. <laughs> I work for the tax department, but I'm not a tax collector. When you get paid, for something you do, Either the amount that you produce 
or the hours that you work. So that's what's called a wage. Salary means that you get paid the same no matter what. All right. Sorry? Because that she's she's going to put it in the books to, to record how much was uh, given for offering. I'm not taking it, you She's not stealing it. It's no, okay. She's not stealing it's it. her job. This is her job. Okay. This, this is That's her job. not her wage. <laughs> now, when you do something, not necessarily a job that you earn money for, but when you do something and you get payback for it, uh, like for example, oh, let's see. When Taylor teases Jennifer, Taylor never does that, does she? Does Taylor ever tease you? <laughs> Jennifer's not going to rat out her sister. When Anaya torments Arya, and we know that never happens, does it, Arya? It does happen. When Anaya torments Arya, and Anaya gets in trouble for tormenting Arya because we know that never happens. That's also called a wage. You got what you deserve. And the Bible says that sin has a wage. Sin has a wage. And you know what that wage is? You know what that wage is? Death. Death. There is one wage for sin, and that wage is called death. Now, in the Old Testament, every year they used to sacrifice animals. They would kill animals, and the blood of the animal paid for the sins of the people. But every year, they had to keep doing it. Every time they sinned, they had to bring an offering. Now, I can tell you right now, there's some of you guys out there. Boy, you better have a big old farm with animals. Because if you don't have a big old farm with animals, you don't have a whole lot of animals for sacrifice and you're going to have to buy them and you're going to have to pay a whole lot of money for sacrifices. But see, God had a plan. God knew that our sacrifices aren't going to do the trick. So he said, I'm going to provide the sacrifice. And it's going to be something that he held near and dear to his heart. And that was his only son. God decided to give up his only son. Why? To pay our wage. say, you know what, I'm going to take her punishment for her. Yeah. It's a pretty good feeling, isn't it? No. Right? Yeah. Kaylee, you ever get in trouble for something? No. No? Well, maybe you better start. Uh, right. <laughs> and maybe Kaya steps in or Xander steps in and says, I'll take your punishment for you. Yeah, like that's going to happen, no. right? Right. No, what do you think? You get in trouble for something? And Tavion steps in and says, you know what? Don't punish Noah. I'll take his punishment for him. <laughs> yeah, Tavion's going to hang him. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. Not a chance. Okay, Tavion wouldn't do it, but maybe Noel would. 
Ouch. Yeah, exactly. It would hurt. It would hurt. The Bible says that Jesus, by the time they were done with Jesus, you could barely recognize him. He was beat up so bad. I saw him get hit with the And then, if it weren't bad enough, then they told him, you have to carry your own cross up the hill. Because that's how they killed people. They hung them on a cross. You died of suffocation. You couldn't breathe. That's how you died. It was painful. But you had to carry your own cross up the hill. Those things were heavy. And Jesus couldn't do it. Some guy had to come in and help him out. And then, when the cross is up at the hill, they put you on the cross. They don't tie you with ropes. They don't tie you with ropes. They hammer spikes through your feet and through your wrists. And the pain was excruciating. Almost unbearable. The, the biggest amount of pain you could ever think of. Think about that. A spike. Not just a nail, a spike. Big, like big railroad spikes. The spikes that they use to... They're, they're like huge nails. Right through his wrists. Right through the... Right through his feet. To just keep him up on the cross. We, we got to keep him up on the cross. We don't want him to fall off now. I mean, if, if, if we're going to make a guy die, we don't want him to fall down and get hurt, do we? No. Being sarcastic. I can't think of much that would be more painful. You can think about that, but uh, you read, read up, read up on crucifixion. It was pretty painful. Now I'm not, I'm not going to go into real big detail here because we got little kids. But for your older kids, read up on it. It was nasty. It was nasty. Why did Jesus do that? He volunteered for it. Why? Why do you think Jesus would volunteer? Do you think he liked pain? No. Xander, do you think he liked pain? so that we could live. He died so we could have life forever. And we thank you for that. 
Lord, may our lives be an expression of gratitude to you. I pray that you would begin to work in our hearts. Lord, that you would make it very clear to us the things that Jesus suffered because of us. I pray that you would draw everyone in this room to your presence. Give them a desire to serve you. Lord, may we by our lives honor you and the sacrifice that you made. And we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.